guys, it's Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm with my boyfriend, Solomon. Hi. Hey. All right, camera died. Okay, so uh, I don't think we filmed I... in the bedroom since we got new bedding. So we did get new bedding. It looks nice, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my throat's kind of sore today. So if you see me keep bending down to drink water, that's why. Yeah. That sucks. I've been like drinking a lot of tea and a lot of water. So let's hope it goes away. But yeah. So I saw this video that Jess Conti did with her husband, Gabriel Conti, which I'm sure you guys have seen before. They're pretty popular here on YouTube. And she did it like, oh, was it 2017? So it's been a long time since she did the video. That's but when I graduated. Same. We're both 1999 babies. But anyway, so I just, I was trying to think of videos to do. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do that. Like, I know it was a while ago, but like, it sounds fun. So, it's called a compatibility test, and she got it from other YouTubers, I think Kesley and Trey is their name, so I'm going to link her video down below, and then their video is linked in her video, so if you want to watch Justin Gabriel's video, video and Kesley and Trey's video, you can by clicking on Justin's video and click on that link, but yeah, so I did not create this idea, I took it from somewhere else, so I want to make sure I credit them, We're because... Thieves. <laughs> yeah, that's not right if you don't credit them, but anyway, so, and then at the end, I think it was like... 15 questions or something you like calculate it and see how compatible you are Honestly, okay. I don't believe in like astrology because I'm a Christian. I believe God made us who we are But I think it's very interesting. It's it, like I don't know It's it like when I'm bored. It's fun to look at and they always say Leo's and Tauruses, I'm a Leo, he's a Taurus, are not compatible in any way, shape, or form. And we I, are very I, different. I hate astrology. It's so Like, dumb. other than our morals, we are different. Pretty so, much. I don't know how well we're going to do on this. So some of them are kind of dumb, to be honest. But, you know, it's still going to be fun. So, it's like this or that. And we, one, two, three, we both answer it to see if we have the same. Okay. So, you ready? Are we going to, like, keep track of how many we got? Yeah, on the so bottom. Like, and then at the end, I'll calculate how compatible we are. So, <sighs> one, first question is, sweet or salty? One, two, three, salty. salty. Always salty. But sweets are still, you know, I love both. But salty, just like, you can do it more. Like, sweets, I can have like one or two, and I'm like, all right, hold it there, fam. I can down like a bag of chips and just go... Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely a salty person. If I had to chip, pick like chips or like cookies, I love both, but I would pick chips. If I had to pick like, like a, let's say like cake or french fries, I'd pick french fries, even though I don't really like cakes at all. Popcorn's probably my number one. Mm -hmm. I love popcorn. Salt and vinegar chips are my favorite snack, but yes. So the next one, oh, okay. Oh. Snow or sand? One, two, three, sand. so. I said so. I meant All snow. I hate winter so See, much. Okay, Summer really, is amazing. I have a love-hate relationship with snow. It's kind of like my frenemy if I had one. I love, <laughs> I love, I, I love the look of snow. Like, I think it looks really pretty. And like, I feel like Christmas isn't Christmas without snow. But I hate driving in it. I hate when I have to take it off my car. I hate when the roads are icy and I slip. But, like, I do think it looks pretty. And I can't imagine living on a beach. I can see myself living in, like, a cabin in the mountains than a beach. I can see myself, like, living on an island. Yeah, I could not. I Water terrifies me. Hate I hate the ocean. The All right, so we're 1 to 2. We're already 50%. This is well, not good. Oopsie. Alrighty, so uh, 3 is books or movies. 1, 2, 3, books. Movies. See, again, Even you watch more movies. I watch than more books. movies than I read books, but and you enjoy them more. Just that like is not watching true. your facial expressions, watching how you talk about them. You yourself A good also book enjoy is better than, movies better, than that. better. You enjoy movies more than books. You just want to say no, that you no, like no, no. books better because it's you know makes you sound intelligent. Okay, and every book not to that movie, you're not in, I, I just dug myself in your hole there. And every book to movie adaptation I've seen, the book is always better. That's just because there's more to it. But you'll still watch, sit down and watch the movie more often when given the choice because it's because shorter. Because it takes forever to read a book, okay? Exactly. Only takes two, but I do like them better. I just don't take the time to read them because it's too much time. I did when I was younger. When I was younger, I used to read like a book a week. I'm still going with, I don't actually think that you yourself 
think that you just I like books that. more than movies, but I will admit I watch more movies than I read more books. But I like I do like like I love libraries. I love you, bookstores. You have a giant shelf of movies and you watch like all of them once and a I year. Have a giant you shelf have a of books. smaller shelf of books and I haven't seen you pick up But I've read all any of, of them, them throughout since my childhood. We moved in here. I I've read all of them throughout my childhood. <laughs> oh, I read The Five People Meet in Heaven and I read my poetry books. So ha that's <laughs> four. So and you've watched like a hundred, three hundred movies. No, no, no. I've watched probably like twenty movies, and the rest are shows. Get it right. <laughs> no, because you even go on Netflix and look for new movies. Okay, whatever. I do take oh. more time for movies, but I, I like books better. Like I wish I was more of a reader than I am. I used to be a reader. I used to read all the time. But you can be. So the fact that you're not. <laughs> whatever. Okay, so one out of three. We're we're doing awful. We're at like. I I count it as two out of three. What is that? Thirty-three percent. Something like that? Yeah, 33.3333333. Alright, homemade or takeout? One, two, three, homemade. takeout. <laughs> I like making stuff. I can't cook. It's So I'm gonna say takeout. Yeah, Honestly, but though, you never cook anyway. I always. <laughs> Honestly, though, I love my mom's like Pizza Hot dish. Or what else does she make that I really like? Or her white chili. So it's like, that's hard. Like, if I had, like, a thing of McDonald's or a thing of Pizza Hot dish, which one would I go for? I'm not really sure. But I eat takeout more. I will so say... So I would have to say takeout. I will say this. I definitely eat homemade more because I, I'm cheap and I can Well, yeah, cook. we make food at home. Um, yeah. But... I will say this answer probably changes from like day to day with me because sometimes you're just you not don't in the mood to cook, cook. and yeah. it's just like I'm just gonna order some Chinese and have a time. We never eat Chinese. We really should. I feel mm. like I eat homemade food like we eat it more. Yeah, three hundred percent more. We than only I eat it like eat twice a week out. max. I'd say. Yeah. But like that's what I'm saying. Sometimes that's why you like takeout so much. It's like a treat. Mm. Yeah. I I don't know. I just think. But based on the amount that I eat it and the the cheaping the cheaper factor, the generally it's just as convenient. It's just kind of if I'm not in the mood, I'll do takeout. But, but that's not a slam. I like time, that's not I'll a slam. I like you or my mom because I mean, sure, y'all both sure. cook good. <laughs> I just takeout's like a treat. Like when you get sushi to your house, you get some French fries. I have never ordered takeout sushi. Well, I, I know have I haven't either. But if you think about it, does that still count going to a restaurant even if you're not taking it out? No. We, we do that a lot more often. I know, but it doesn't count as takeout. Fine, then I guess I'd have to pick McDonald's. Because we, oh, we always order Chipotle, or no, Cadoba to our house. Cadoba's, Cadoba and pizza That's are like the, the weirdest only, thumbs up ever. Cadoba and pizza are like the only things that we've ever ordered takeout. You got me Starbucks once here. Yeah. I've the also day, ordered the day, you a shake before here. The, yeah, the day my doggie passed away, he ordered me a large. Starbucks because I never let myself get a large they're too expensive but and it was a delivery so that was probably a ten dollar coffee because you had a delivery fee too yeah that was a bad day but anyway we're one out of four now we're 25 percent compatible yay all right crunchy or creamy in what context I don't know ah. I, I would say like do you like crunchy foods or do you like smooth creamy foods all right, I, I guess I have an answer. One, two, three, crunchy. crunchy? Yeah, yeah, same. Like Cause chips. like pickles, chips, like crunch bars. I love those. But I also gotta say, I love pudding and whipped cream. Yeah, I, I, I eat chips one and also. I think and stuff. the ultimate question for crunchy is creamer is peanut butter, and I hate crunchy peanut oh, butter. Oh yeah, crunchy. It peanut has butter. to be creamy. Creamy is the way to go. But like, I love pickles so much, and those are crunchy. I love chips so much, and they're crunchy. So like, mm, and you like crunchy fries too. Yeah, I hate it when a fry is soggy. I like either way. I think they're both good, so I don't really care. Steak and Shake has the best fries. We don't even have one around here. I've never had one. But they're great. They're like little and they're crispy and... You know, mm. once the world goes back to normal, we should go on a road trip just to go to a Steak and Shake. But I think the closest one to us is like seven hours away. <laughs> so that would be a trip. <laughs> we should probably find something else to do while we're there. Yeah. Not just eat at Steak and Shake. Because yeah. I'll admit, I'm the one who likes Steak and Shake and I'd be like, this is a bad trip. I had it. <laughs> All right, so we're two out of five now. All right. Okay, so, okay, so the sixth question was originally Facebook or Instagram, but I knew we would, we both don't go on Facebook much. So I changed it to Snapchat or Instagram because we both go on those. Okay. So one, two, 
Three. Snapchat. Instagram. Dang it. Why don't we not, we're not compatible <laughs> on anything. Well, it's just like Instagram changes their algorithm so much that it's like kind of hard to keep up. Well, that's because you snap a billion people a day and I snap like four. Honestly, I snap way more than I text people. So the question is, is basically like texting or social media in, in my eyes and like I'd much rather have like a personal one-on-one -on -one connection with someone than a Hey, everybody! Guess what I did? Which is how I kind of feel social media I just media love is, the Instagram. I, I definitely know I need to be on social media more he does. for music. I love on Instagram that you can see people you actually know. Like posts. You can see celebrities posts. You can see like advertisements. You can see food posts. You can see poetry posts. Like you can just see so much. And I love that. I love that you get like... You can see whatever you want, I love basically. Her bang. Yeah, and plus, I, love I don't know. I'm kind of antisocial. Like, if I ever do snap my friends, it's like just setting up a plan, and then once we meet, I talk to them fully. Or it's like stupid little selfies for no reason, just to keep a streak. Which I don't care about streaks, but some of my friends do. So that's why I don't even use Snap much to like, because like I want to see them. So I'll like set up a plan to see them, and then I'll talk to them fully in person. Like that's just kind of how I am. But yeah. So, uh, we're two out of six. <laughs> Yay. All right. But yeah, I'm glad I changed that because we both uh, would have said Instagram. 100%. Maybe you shouldn't have changed it because then we would have had one more point. Oh, that was <laughs> sweet. All right. So, the seventh one is black or like black and white or color. So, like when I was watching the video, they were doing like in what regards again? Like TV, photos, or like clothes. Okay, because the answer definitely changes depending on, like, what it is. I think it's just, I'm just going to say overall, like, what is, what color scheme do you enjoy looking at in any aspect? Okay. So, one, two, three, black colors. and white. <sighs> it's just, like, there's way more variety with colors. You can always revert back to black and white. You can make, you can make a colored photo black and white really easy. But it's hard to make a black and white photo colored. It takes like years of training, lots of software to to do that. Like we just kind of figured out the technology now, and it's like really expensive. But you can easily just, you know, I'm not sure if you're ever gonna actually edit it in. But if I just snap this, you can put on a filter in this video, and boom, now it's black and Maybe white. Maybe should scoot over a little bit. I don't know. With me, like my favorite animal is a panda. That's black and white. I love black and white stripes, black and white polka dots. I love like black and white furniture. I can watch a black and white movie. That doesn't bug me. I think black and white pictures look really classy. I'd rather see like a black and white picture than like a picture of a rainbow or something. Like I don't know. Like I'm just that kind of person. Like my pants are black and white. Like I'm just don't, such a black and white kind of person. Don't get me wrong. I think black and white is one of the most timeless color schemes it's and never one of the style. greatest color schemes. But when you say colors, black and white are colors. That is so true. So included. I think they meant like colorful. So we're only two out of seven, honey. Well, bye. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> other than morals, we're like opposites of each other. But they say opposites attract. I mean, it's just going to say, I don't know like who invented the questions, but it's not like any of these things are deal breakers. See, I asked you though, I said, do you regard. want me to try to find a video <laughs> where they ask more serious questions? Or do you want to find me to find a video where it's more fun questions? And you said I said, said fun. I don't care. No, 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 no. no. When you said fun. You said, I like videos that are fun. That was your exact wording. No, I said, I don't care. I can answer both. I think people generally find videos that are fun, more fun to watch. Next question is plain or spicy? Oh, okay. One, two, three, plain. Spicy. What? You cannot handle spicy food. I foods. love it though. Here's the thing, I can handle spicy foods. I just, I don't like how it makes me feel. Like it makes my tongue like, I don't know how to explain it. No. I had some spicy udon a little while ago. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I just remember, can I tell them the story, the beat up story? Why the hell not? <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings <laughs> is a restaurant that most places have. And uh, I was like, I don't know, we were doing long distance at the time, and he used to live in Minneapolis when we were doing long distance. And we went to a Buffalo Wild Wings, a beat ups is what we call it. And they, you got, you didn't get your normal, he normally gets a honey mustard. I got hot, I did not get honey mustard, I got honey barbecue. Whatever, you normally get I honey barbecue, sorry. hot barbecue. Yeah, and I normally get Parmesan garlic. But yeah, he got hot barbecue, and which is like way spicier. Yes. 
<laughs> and every he started like crying and sweating. And then every time the waiter came by to check on us, he literally kept looking at me like, oh, why are you with him? Like, he's weird. Like, that's the look I got from the waiter the whole wonderful. night. It was, those wings were really good. I did try it. It was spicy. Like, I, oh, I, yeah. That's like, I could handle You started tearing up. I could handle spicy things, but I don't want to eat a full thing of it because I don't like how it makes my tongue feel all numb. I don't like that. My tongue was numb. My face was sweaty. I don't like feeling my hot. My eyes I don't like were sweating. crying and I was having a time. Yeah. So, uh, great. I, I don't know. I don't like plain though. I don't know. I like it more. That, that's kind of the word that threw me off. If it was, if it was something other than plain, then maybe, but like. I'd rather eat like. The option is spicy or plain. I'm going spicy. Yeah, but like, I don't know. I'd rather eat like. Bread. A cheese sandwich than like a jalapeno nachos or something. Like I don't know. Uh, but I don't like plain plain food either. Like I love spice. I love adding like seasoning to things. I don't know. I just over spicy. I don't like how spicy makes me would feel. Would I rather have noodles with <laughs> butter or spicy wings? Spicy wings. Noodle butter <laughs> is a classic. It's so good. Okay, well we're two to eight now. Ooh, all right. Texting or talking? Talking. Uh, oh. <laughs> I okay. I was gonna say I don't know, cause like it, I hate when people call me. I'm such I a texter. I love when people call me. I, I Yet at the like same texting. time, I only text people to set up a plan to talk to them in person. So I don't know how that works. I think you gotta go with talking though. Okay, one, two, three, talking. Talking, yeah. Yeah, but it is weird. It's I don't easy. like I don't like talking on the phone though. But I like this is the easiest. I like one to text yet. to talk in person. But yes, yeah, so I guess we're three to nine now. But that was, you were too early. You ruined the game. Ah, uh, well, it's my game now. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so number 10 is introvert or extrovert? One, two, three, introvert. introvert. See, I always say you're extroverted introvert. Cause I'm you, an ambivert. If that's no, what you we're say you say excited. you're an introvert because no, you I'm, get energy when you're alone. Yeah, I'm an introvert with extroverted tendencies. Yeah. Whereas I'm saying. just an introvert. Official title. All yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> we're four for eleven. Ten. Four for ten. That's bad. That's, bad. Uh, that's forty percent. That's an F. <laughs> How many questions have we got left? Eight eight. Let's get to a C. Yay! Or a D. D's get degrees. <laughs> All right, so next question is night owl or early bird? Oh, well, I know we're not the same on this one. <laughs> not anymore. Three, two, two one, one night early owl. bird. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I, <laughs> I used to, like, not let myself, like, I let myself sleep, but lately I've been waking up earlier on weekends than normal. I don't know. It's like, but I do have more energy in the, at night. Like, I'm more likely to, like, finish editing a video at night than, like, to edit a video right when I wake up. Like, when I, right, right when I wake up, like, I check Instagram, I brush my teeth, I go to the bathroom, and then I watch like a YouTube video. And yeah, I drink coffee. But like I you... don't have the energy to start editing or to get ready right away and start filming. I do not have the energy until like noon. I mean if you choose to change up your habits, you might. If you, you know, if you sit back down right away and watch a YouTube <clears throat> video, you're gonna not be as energized. That's why a lot of people recommend as soon as you wake up, work out. Because then... You know, you'll get that energy. Ha ha ha. I don't know. It's like, I wish I was an early bird, but I know I'm a night owl. But I wish I was. Alright, next question. Alright, vintage or new? In regards to what? I don't know. Like a style? Like, do you like new things better? Do you like vintage things better? You know, like a style. Like an, an aesthetic. Alright, I guess I got it. One, two, three, new. vintage. Why are we so different? Because, like, vintage is better, like... 10% of the time and people like cling to that it's like oh, vintage is so cool like See, no most things that are old suck I'm gonna say <laughs> this and and Jess said in her in her video too she likes new things that look vintage and that's me Netflix or movie theater okay one two Three, Netflix. Netflix. I There's thought you were going to say movie theaters. Movie theaters are dying. See, I like, I like. You like them way more than I do. I like a trip to the movies as like a good like. It feels more like an experience. Like, hey, I'm going to the movies. Like, you, you know, you go out, you go to the special place, see this thing. It's like in the giant screen with the nice speakers. Like, I might watch some of my like favorite movies right when they come out in theaters for the movie experience. But 
90% of the time when I'm watching a movie, I'm watching a movie at home with you. When, you know? the thing is, I really like movie theaters and I really love getting popcorn and all that, but it's so expensive. They are very expensive. It's so, like a ticket's at least $10. It's more like 12 nowadays. And then like the food's outrageously expensive. Like, it's just not worth it to yeah. me. Like I'll just wait for it to come out on Netflix or something. Like Movie, movie theaters kind of need to update their game or they're going to die. Well, it's the thing that like, even if they like kind of cheapen the prices so people would go, they can't afford to do that because they're so in the hole from the pandemic. So it's like, I don't know. They're also just in the hole from Netflix. <laughs> yeah. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Now we're five for 11. Mm -hmm. or no, wait, no, no, we're not. Five for 13. <laughs> Five for 13. Why did you get my hopes up? I'm sorry. I forgot. I was looking at the wrong number. All right. Oh, shit. Ah! No summer story. or fall? One, two, three. Fall. Summer. I love yeah. fall. Love leaves. Love Halloween. Love sweaters. Love pumpkins. Love everything about it. And I hate summer. I love summer. Yeah, I get seasonal depression in summer. He gets it in fall. I get it in oh. winter. Or in winter. I'm sorry. Hey, you say it kind of starts in fall, though, because you know winter's coming. I just get like a little sad in the fall because summer's over and I know that winter's coming. So we're five for 14 now. Okay, this next question is kind of weird, but dinosaurs or unicorns? That's so weird, isn't it? I mean, I guess I got an answer. One, two, three, unicorns. unicorns. I thought you were going to say dinosaurs. I don't know. I, I think dinosaurs are very overrated. You were like dumb. unicorns or jerks or whatever you say. No, I'm saying what I've always said is like, I feel like they should make, you know, one of those like fantasy worlds or whatever, like Lord of the Rings style thing. They should make a story, and it doesn't have to be one of the main elements, but they should have unicorns in it. But they're just not like the cutesy unicorns, like they're just horses that stab people. Like, like evil horns. unicorns? Yeah, yeah. Because like, all a unicorn is, is a horse with a, a horn. Yeah. Why not make them evil in like some, some See, like, fit me my mystical favorite world or whatever. mystical horse would have to be a Pegasus. Pegasus. Yeah. Like from Hercules, I love like a horse that can fly. That's that's bomb. You know, you can't fit on a bird. Like you could fit on a little birdie. So you have you to can like fit on a griffin though. Whatever, those are ugly. Pegasus are also cute. So Pegasus has gotta be, if not the best, one awesome. of the best. <laughs> It'd be like witches number like witches and fairies, and then I'd say Pegasus. <laughs> I gotta say dragons are my number one. Dragons one are one awesome. I think is stupid. The like half horse, half human thing. That's dumb. Centaurs. I think that's dumb. But anyway. I think they're better than mermaids. Well, I thought we were... Oh, I hate mermaids. Oh, I hate oceans, so that's why. But yeah, so hey, we're six for 15 now. We're still failing. We're still failing. We're still... Should I name it like my boyfriend and I should break up or something? You can name whatever you I want, know, honey. This, this is your now. channel. Alright. Ooh, I think we'll get this one. Acoustic or electric? One, two. Can I, can I give me a second thing? What? I don't know. Why? Dude, I love them both so much. Oh, one one is a very simple style, but there's like you know so much you can do with it and so much singability. Which and one do you just enjoy more? One. I don't know. What? I thought we were gonna get this one. <laughs> I don't know, these, there's, like, okay, like, in just all instruments, or like, just guitar? I don't know, I'd say just like, what music brings you more joy? Like, what sound? Ready? <laughs> just one, two, three, acoustic. acoustic. Yes! Yeah. I love There's acoustic. so much more variety with electric. It though. is, but every There's time I so hear a song, I always end up liking the acoustic version better. Like, I like easy listening, chill music. Like, that's my vibe. All of my favorite bands are electric. My favorite band is Arizona, Which and is that's electric. probably the chillest band you'll ever meet. Although, they, they, they have, a, it's electric. It's they're not really acoustic, though, but no, I don't know. It's but, but okay, but then. 100% electric. Okay, but if they made acoustic versions, I'd be all into that. Yeah. There's just so much more variety with electric, though. Whatever, I like it. I don't know. So we're seven for sixteen. I, don't but, I mean, know I like if both. That answer I guess. was right. I like both. Yeah. I guess. All right, two more questions: breakfast or dinner? One, two, three. Dinner. dinner. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say breakfast. No, I like some breakfast foods, but I just feel like there's not as much substance in breakfast foods. Like, 
I like eating dinner foods for breakfast half the time because breakfast foods are just like, hey, you want sugar? And I'm like, no, I don't, know, I don't I just, actually. I don't remember. Like the the best breakfast to me is like eggs and bacon, country fried steak and eggs, or yeah, just like eggs and bacon, uh, pancakes and waffles and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, like they waffles. taste good. But there's just, there's no substance there. Well, the and that's a is, problem. I don't mind breakfast, like, oh, like, I love McDonald's breakfast. And he hates McDonald's breakfast. They have good, they have a good Egg McMuffin. Their they egg have McMuffin a good. kind of sucks. I love their hash brown. <laughs> hash brown kind of sucks. Okay, and I like their breakfast burrito a lot. <laughs> I actually haven't had their breakfast burrito, so I can't say anything. But anyway, so, but I can't eat in the morning. Like, when I eat in the morning, I feel gross. All I drink, all I do in the morning is drink coffee and water. That's I, all I do. I remember but. when McDonald's came out with their all day breakfast. I was like so disappointed. I'm like, no, I want all day lunch. Like, well, they don't I have it be, anymore because I want to be able to roll up to a McDonald's at five in the morning when I'm on a road trip and McDonald's is for some reason open and just eat a Big Mac because I don't want their Egg McMuffin with hash browns. No. Yeah. So like, Stop it. I like breakfast food. I want food. fries. Yeah. And a Oof, burger. Okay. I'm, oh, I'm with you though. I mean, I like their hash brown, but I'd much rather have french fries <laughs> with like my egg with muffin if I could. But yeah, I like breakfast food. It's, it's, I can't eat breakfast in the morning. If I ever eat breakfast foods, it's like lunch or nighttime because I just don't eat in the morning. So I'd have to say dinner. But I also love like pasta and sushi and pizza. So dinner. I love salad, but I feel like that's a lunch or dinner thing. No. But yeah. So yay. That's um... Still Eight failing. out of 17? Still failing. Yay! Alright, last question is also weird. I, I, I don't think we can go. I'm just saying last question is also weird. It's Ryan Reynolds or Ryan Gosling. Oh, easy, easy, peasy, lemon squeezy, and we do not have the same answer. And I know we don't. <laughs> Let me think. I'm trying to think. Oh, here. Deadpool. Detective Pikachu. You were... I'm giving away my answer because I don't even two, care. Three, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I I just think overall Ryan Gosling is more attractive. Ryan Reynolds. But I like them. More I like them man. both a lot. Ryan Reynolds. I think they're both very is good actors. Funny. And very handsome. I haven't seen Ryan Gosling in any funny roles, but you know he, I haven't seen that. Many. I know you don't like The Notebook, Super but many. he was good in La La Land, and there's other movie I really uh, like too. What was yeah. it called? Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> It's Deadpool. It was the other movie he was in with Emma Stone. Stone. That was good. I just don't remember the name of it. And Steve Carell is in it too, I think. I have one word. He was good in that one too. I have one word. Deadpool. I know. I, know. I, I didn't like Deadpool. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> but I like Ryan Reynolds. I just thought that movie in particular was stupid. I don't like superhero movies. I think they're dumb. It's not a superhero movie. Well, he, whatever he <laughs> is. He's like a... He's an anti -hero. Yeah, he's a whatever. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so we got... Uh, well, let me count this up to make sure I know exactly what we got. So we got 8 out of 18, <gasps> and we got 44% compatible. We are failing. <laughs> well... Bye. I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> We're very opposite, besides morals, I'd say. But yeah. So, yay! I kind of knew this was going to happen. I know how opposite yeah. we are. So, I think it would be interesting if we had a kid. Like, what if they were exactly half of you? Like, exactly, like, thought half of your thoughts and thought half of mine. Like, that might be really interesting to, like, see. Just, like, perfect little half of us. Half brilliant and half you? I mean... <gasps> Just half nice, kidding. half mean. I'm nice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna go make grilled cheese for dinner now. That sounds good. I want cheese. Bye bye. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll put our socials and stuff down below and his music channel and stuff. So make sure you check those out. And yeah, just remember to like, comment, subscribe, and to have an amazing day. Bye. You are always on my mind. Always on my mind. Always on my mind